It was the vote these people wanted, a result they welcomed. But Sunday's referendum will change very little in Venezuela. The unofficial poll organized by the opposition to protest Nicolas Maduro's plan to effectively rewrite the constitution was held in improvised polling stations across the country and for citizens living around the world. 98% rejected the creation of a new assembly proposed by the president and back to call for elections before his term in office ends. More than 7 million people took part in this vote, and while it's not legally binding and purely symbolic, it has sent a strong message to the government. With the votes cast by the Venezuelan people today, this means that mathematically, Nicolas Maduro's mandate has been revoked. The opposition believes a powerful new assembly, which could also dissolve state institutions, is just a way for the president to tighten his grip on power. Mr Maduro argues it's the only way to pull the country out of crisis. He's branded the referendum meaningless. The opposition parties have convened this internal consultation with their own mechanisms, without electoral rule books, without prior verification, as if they are autonomous and they can decide their own. More than 100 people have died in clashes and protests in Venezuela since April this year. Sunday's referendum brought more violence. Men on motorbikes opened fire on lines of waiting voters, killing a 61-year-old nurse and wounding three others. While the country becomes ever more polarized, the population suffers. Basic necessities like medicine and food are in increasingly short supply. Many would agree that Venezuela is a country on its knees, but few can see a way to return it to peace and prosperity. Tom Donkin, BBC News.